Hey guys, it's Rabbit, and sorry if you hear a little bit of background noise and screaming. My husband is playing Dota 2 in the other room, so I promise nobody is dying if you hear some shrieks or odd sounds. So for those of you who follow me on Facebook, you're already aware of this, but I ended up finally getting an iPhone, and I know I'm so behind with this because I see even like 13 and 12 year olds walking around just pressing and messing with their phones. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here 24 and I'm still trying to figure this bad boy out. But nevertheless, I'm so excited about getting it because I feel like now I'm gonna be able to keep in touch with you guys even better than I was before. With that, I ended up starting an Instagram. So just in general, whenever I have any links to other social media networks that are affiliated with me or with my channel, I'll always provide links in the description box below as well as links being provided on the actual main page of this channel. So you can follow me now on Instagram as well as on Facebook. So that's really exciting for me. So a huge video request that I've had over the last couple of months has been for me to talk to you guys a little bit about my skincare routine. And honestly, I have to tell you guys that I've never really struggled too much with my skin. I've never really had acne. I've never dealt with major pimple problems. I'll occasionally get a zit here or there and I guess while I'm thinking about it I have had some people comment on the actual marks on my face and I'll get a little bit closer so you guys can see um, like the dots that are on my face. Some of you have asked if they're moles or if they're, they are birthmarks and actually they're just scars. I had the chicken pox more than once when I was little and it ended up leaving just some nasty scars on my face and I have a few on my back. But other than that, I don't really have any like acne marks, any, any pimple scarring or anything like that. So I just wanted to say all of that so that you are aware that this advice and the products that I'm using may not necessarily be what your skin needs because perhaps you do need something that's going to help you if you have really oily skin. I tend to have drier skin, which is probably why I haven't really struggled with any pimples or zits or acne issues really too badly. I'll occasionally get some, but usually when I do, it's like one or two along my jawline. And I presently have one that's kind of right here and it's been annoying me when I wear my glasses. But other than that, I haven't really had any problems with that whatsoever. So just take everything that I'm gonna be sharing with you, kind of with a grain of salt, if you do have really oily skin or if you do have cystic acne or just any other type of skin issue. My father has really bad psoriasis and although my skin doesn't really suffer from that quite like his, I still do have a bit of an issue with just dry skin in general. So I'd say my skin is relatively sensitive but not really too much. So as far as like washing my skin and the soaps that I use um, or just any type of cleansing agent that I apply, I am not really too particular about what I put on my face. I do wash my face about twice a day. Usually I don't go any more than that just because it will dry out my skin. And as far as, you know, like what I do in the evenings, I'm not really gonna get into that too much in this video, just because at nights when I'm washing my face, I literally just wash it with a soap, put on a moisturizer and go to bed. So this is gonna focus a little bit more on what I do in the mornings when I'm getting ready and when I shower. As I just mentioned, I'm not really very cautious about the types of soaps too much that I end up using on my face. So I most of the time will just use the same soap that I'm using on my body since I do have pseudo sensitive skin. Two soaps that I have been using very frequently and they haven't had any, I haven't had any issues with them like breaking out my skin or doing anything. Um, the first one is the Dove Summer Care Bar. And to tell you the truth, all of the Dove soaps I think are quite spectacular. None of them dry out my skin, but I still am left feeling really clean because some of the moisturizing bars out there I feel like leave almost this weird film or residue on your skin, kind of in an attempt I guess to convince you that it's moisturizing while at the same time cleansing. So I don't know, I don't really like that feeling and I've never really had to deal with that when I use a Dove bar. So I strongly recommend that you try Dove if you do have dry skin. The second type of soap that I use on my face as well as my body is the Skin Milk Cleansing 
bar, and I've talked about this, I think, in a favorites video a couple months back. For those of you who didn't watch that, I, I won't redirect you because the video is kind of old, but basically this is probably one of my favorite soaps ever. It's a dollar at Dollar Tree, and it's a seven ounce bar. You will not find a better deal on a soap in regards to the quality that you get for the price that you pay. So I really think that it's worth picking up, and similarly to the Dove, as I just described, I feel like this bar does an excellent job of cleansing my face without drying it out and in the process of moisturizing your skin it doesn't leave any type of film or residue. So once I get out of the shower and you know I've done washing my face and everything, the first thing that I've started doing probably within the last month has been to apply some sort of SPF. I have lately been using the Copper Tone Oil Free Sunscreen Lotions in its fragrance-free, hypoallergenic, and since it specifies that it doesn't clog pores, I have not had any issues with putting this on my face as well as my neck. I think that's a really, really important step that a lot of people miss when they're moisturizing or putting on SPF. They make sure that they get like their face, but they ignore kind of their neck or their shoulders. So after my SPF is applied, I kind of give it like a minute or two to soak into my skin, and then I move on to the moisturizer. So there are a lot of different moisturizers that I do tend to use, and I wouldn't really say that any one is better than the other, but as far as the actual price per fluid ounce or per unit of product that you're going to be receiving, the one that I do kind of want to talk to you guys about and strongly suggest that you try is the Jergens All Purpose Face Cream. And I could sit here and probably review this product because I really do like it that much, but I'm going to hold my tongue and not really do that, but I do just want to say that you get 15 ounces of product for about $2.50, up to like $3. I ended up getting these in a pack of two for five bucks, so it came to each of these being $2.50 for me. And I just want to show you guys the inside, like look at all this product. I've had this for at least two or three months, and I've barely tapped in, into it, like possibly I'm one sixth or one fifth of the way through, but I still have a whole other container that I haven't even opened. So for the price, it's amazing. And it's not a cold cream and it's not just a moisturizing cream. It's kind of both. So you can put it on your face and then wipe it off to end up cleaning your face or you can use it just as a moisturizer at night or during the day. So it just kind of depends on what you really need. I will go ahead and say kind of as a con for this that it is very, very greasy. So you're gonna wanna put it on sparingly. So what I like to do, especially since I follow up my moisturizer after applying an SPF, which already kind of, you know, gives your skin a little bit of that dewiness, I just kind of lightly tap it onto my skin and just make sure that I have little dots of the product around my face and my neck and then I massage it into the skin as opposed to doing larger globs and then kind of smearing it around because if you do that, you're going to end up looking really greasy and oily and honestly, that's kind of gross. Okay, so that is essentially it. That is my skincare routine. I know that seems probably exceedingly simplistic, but like I said, I've never really struggled with acne. I've never struggled with excessive zits or pimples. Um, and my skin is relatively clear and I don't have to really mind too much what kind of products that I use on it. So in that sense, I'm really blessed and I'm really grateful because I know my husband even struggled with acne and he had to go on Accutane for a few months, maybe a year, so I know what that's like and I'm just glad that I never had to deal with that. Hopefully this was helpful for some of you who may have skin kind of like mine. If not, well, maybe you at least enjoyed listening to me kind of blather on for quite a long while. Thank you so much for all of your positive energy. Again, make sure you follow me on Facebook and Instagram since those are up and running, and I will talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye.